Okay, so I think we all can agree that that's ridiculous. So before we get the day started here, what I think I would like to do is introduce you to the crew so that you know who's who and what we're all about. So first up is Mark Crosby. Mark is Andy's nephew, which would make him my second cousin. And uh, we've come to understand that he's in the flooring business. And I can tell you firsthand, he's really good at it. His uh, sales technique was excellent. He practiced it on me. Next up, we've got Grant Bodmer. Grant is my nephew. He lives in Minneapolis. He's uh, recently engaged, and this is his first trip to Quetico. Next up, we've got Jim McGillis. Jim is a longtime friend of my brother's. They went to law school together. Now Jim lives in Minneapolis, and he runs a law firm with some partners. And he had gone with us in 2017 into the Quetico, and he's up for anything. Up, we've got Josh Warminski. He's from Minneapolis. He is a good friend of my brother's. Uh, they are, uh, they have children who go to school together. Josh is a patent attorney work, working for Cargill. And this is his second trip into the Quetico. Next up, we got Don Burkholz. Don is a friend of mine from high school and we have stayed close our entire lives. Uh, we're good fishing buddies. He went with us in 2017, and uh, he's up for it again this year, only this year he got in shape for it. So let's see what happens with that. Next up, we've got Dave Skorstad. Dave is a good friend of my cousin Andy's. Uh, they worked together at Golden Guernsey for many years. Uh, Dave is now a electrician. I believe working on residential properties and he has been to the Quetico before so this won't be a new experience for him. Next we've got Andy McCarthy. He's my cousin. He is the expert on staff here. He'll be our guide. Without him we will all perish in the wilderness. So thank goodness for Andy. He's an awesome dude. He works at Miller Brewing. He helps keep uh, the beer flowing freely. And uh, we're looking forward to his guidance on this trip. And last, we've got me, Dave Volvis. I am the self-anointed videographer of this trip. This is my second trip in. And uh, I am looking forward to this trip. I have done a little bit of training for it so that it wouldn't hurt so bad as we did the portaging this year. Now we're going to have some breakfast, we're going to pack up the boats, we're going to get a quick ride just to the border, and then we'll start our adventure. What's up there? Your name is Ken. That's a cool looking little bow saw there that folds 
subject. Is yours is twice as good. Well, it is. <laughs> but that's just because it's mine. There's no science behind it. <laughs> Shit, we could use some charcoal. What do you think? As long as you carry it. <laughs> <laughs> you can have whatever you want. <laughs> as long as you carry it. <laughs> you can bring that bear along if you like. <laughs> So, are we going to eat or what are we doing? Yeah, I don't know that I need to. But I guess I'll take a peek.
Just went in there and prayed and only farted and that was it, huh? <laughs> I got a dog going. Wow. Yeah, can. Ready for this day? I am. I, I was born ready for this. Born ready, ready for like, 17 like portages? I think this is going to be your new way of life. It's just we should have started like 20 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would have had to get a different wife, though, because she isn't into this at all. No, I know. Both of them are. It's just, uh, yeah. A little too rough. The ones that are here, they don't change their legs, so. Right, but you got to pick. Yeah. It was man Don's probably chomping at the bit down there. We're definitely plus with a nice table. That's what we need. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely a blooper. So what the heck are we at here now? Yeah, they got everything loaded. You guys want to probably double check and make sure your gear is in there. Yeah. Yeah. I remember now. I remember. 
I remember. All right. Once the boats are loaded, both boats will be heading out a narrow rock channel, which will require the operators to maneuver around large boulders without hitting it with the prop. Once we make it out into the main lake, Lake Saganaga, we will be heading towards American Point. That will be our drop-off point, which is just on the U.S. side of the Canadian border. From there, we'll cross over and go to the ranger station. Hey, do we have the canoe seats in here? Or? Yeah, they're not uh, actually on the canoes. I think they're just like in the boats. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, all right. I just didn't see it. Okay. I want the girl. Can the girl take us? Is this recording right now? Is this recording right now? Or is it two I seconds? I was. Yeah, we're actually competing for survival against that boat. Now, if I remember right, there's a, a little bit of rock dodging going on here.
15 foot of Hook Island because there we uh, nice beach. Yeah. Ran, Why can't we? ran it right in on the beach. Well, like I said, it's whatever decides that because that's in Canada. What, where's our other boat? boat? Mine. Once we land at American Point, we unload the boats, we unload the canoes, and we lay all of that out on the forest floor. And we set about figuring out what's the best way to pack all of the packs into the canoe so the canoes ride flat and level in the water and are balanced and we've shared the load between all of the canoes. Unfortunately, I didn't get any video of this step. It's kind of hectic unloading the canoes and getting everything sorted out. There was a lot to do and uh, my focus had to be on that as opposed to taking the video. Next, we'll head towards the ranger station. Uh, this is going to be about a 20 minute to 30 minute paddle uh, if things are nice, which they are today. Otherwise, it could be hours if the wind were in the opposite direction. This brings us to the end of episode two. Stay tuned though, balance of the episodes are coming, which show the journey in the Quetico.